anybody have a song to see you? Anything on your heart? Anything at all? Prayer question or testimony?
pray tonight that, that you get in it. I pray tonight that you listen. I pray tonight that you don't worry about what time you're going to get home. Or whether you've ate dinner or not, how hungry you are. I pray that you worry not about what, what's about to come to place tomorrow when you enter your workplace. What jobs you have in store. I know because these are all very easy things that uh, can pass us. They have each and every day. They surround us. They, that sometimes it falls on the line. Uh, it, gets, it hinders us from really being able to reach out and, and reach God and get to the place spiritually that we need to be. And I got to thinking about uh, a little bit this evening and this afternoon. And I feel, honestly, I feel a little bit scatterbrained, but I really love where the Lord had taken me just about an hour. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. 
For the Lord thy God, he it is that doeth go with thee, that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee nor forsake thee. And Moses called unto Joshua and said unto him in the sight of all Israel, Be strong and of good courage, for thou must go with this people unto the land which the Lord hath sworn unto their fathers to give them, and thou shalt cause them to inherit it. And the Lord, uh, he it is that doth go before thee, he will be with thee, he will not fail thee, neither forsake thee, fear not, neither be dismayed. Uh, we see here a, a mentorship uh, program between uh, Moses and Joshua. Uh, we see here a, a man who, who, who didn't just offer a one-time help. He didn't just uh, ask Joshua to, to go and, and fight the Amaleks and, and, and be a support system and just do this for me and then leave him to dry. He gave him, uh, when, the, when Joshua defeated the Amaleks, uh, uh, Moses gave him another opportunity. He did not make him second or third in charge. He just gave him an opportunity to serve. He gave him a little bit more. And, and you'll find, uh, back I believe in the Exodus, uh, uh, Moses looked at Joshua and saw that he was a good, uh, good, uh, good standing, uh, that he had a good potential, and he saw that in Joshua, and he, he did not just uh, offer his help, but he decided, this is the man I am going to help, mentor, and support. I'm going to show him the way. I'm going to give him a little bit here. And when he defeats this, overcomes his side as victorious, I'll give him a little bit more. And this is why it's important to support. Let's just read it. I'm going to read one more verse, one, or another one of these verses one more time. Verse 6. Be strong of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is. That do go with thee, he will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Here we read that uh, we, they, have the support of God. We have the support that 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 is a system is never going to leave us. That He will for it's God. He will not leave thee nor forsake thee. It is with us everywhere we go. He's on our he's on our side. He's on our side. Uh, 
time for him to stand the lead of people without his mentors that never existed. You see here, he stood and he had somebody support him and show him the way. To help him grow, mentor him into the leadership. So that he was prepared that when he had to stand alone, he could handle it. Now what if Moses was never there? What if Moses never gave him those opportunities? Did not mentor him or support him through all the years? There's going to come a day where we all will probably stand. The day came where Joshua had to step up and lead the people. But he did. He had to do it without them. What happens the day, when the day comes that we, it's time for us to stand and to lead? To lead our brothers and sisters to Christ. To lead our, our family to the way of salvation. To lead our church. Uh, when our pastors are done, uh, maybe dead and gone, to lead, to lead this country. What happens when it comes time for us to step up? And we do it alone. I'm thankful that we have a support system. I have a support system. A lot of times I pray for my little girls. I pray for guys I work with. I pray for my very own family members that do not know God. I pray for them. But what good does it do me to pat them on the back or tell them, you need to get in church? I hope you do one day. And I never remind them of, of, of how God loves them. I never show them about how God blessed them. I never share with them about how God changed my life or how God could change theirs. What if I never supported them? My brother was addicted to crime. Uh, he would go to hell without a shadow of a doubt. He was proud of it.
Now, we can help with a dollar. We can help with a word of encouragement. But that helped a lot of time. Only last until the dollar spent. A lot of times, I don't want you to get me wrong with those acts of kindness or good things. But if somebody truly needs it, and you help them once, and wash your hands thinking, I've done my job, and never went back to check on them, or pray for them, anything, do you know where they would be? You don't. You get it? It only lasts. That encouragement may only last until the encouragement discouragement takes back over. Yeah. But what if we didn't check back in? What if we supported our actions? What if we turned our health into support? What if, what if in, in this church, our friends and loved ones, I think, I'm thankful for the board that we have here at Fort Harbor. For the board members, the committee, those who, who, who really care. They supported a lot of changes here recently. Spent quite a bit of money. It's not about the money, but I got to share this. They, they supported these changes to better our church. Because this is a building. Sydney Art. When floods of tragedy come, if we are careful and protect and support this church and care for it, those floods of tragedy can drown us. They can seek the church real quick. But because we have those the behind the scenes that care enough and support enough to make sure things are taken care of, when those floods come, we're going to be okay. We're human beings. Not heavenly beings. We're susceptible to, to hurt, to pain, to sadness, to despair, trials, tribulations. It'll happen. But as far as we and my house, we will serve the Lord. Because the Lord has been the support system I need. The Lord is the support system we all need. That when those times come, we can stay. We can carry on. He'll be there with us. I'll thank you for that. I'm starting to run dry. But you remember this. I just want you to just think about Joshua and Moses. There's many examples of mentorships in the Bible. Support people who supported each other, who stuck with them. There's many examples. But I love this. Not only do we have, but he reminded Joshua, hey, God, God will support you. He'll support you. Be strong. Be strong. He's going to go before you. I know this, this, this has maybe been a little bit different, but turning your health into is important. We support a lot of things we love. Don't we, don't we love God? It's so easy to go and support a, our favorite football team. So easy to go support a, a, some, some organization that we love and, and we'll send our dollars, we'll send our care, we'll, we'll go attend, we'll, we'll be a part is it just as important to support our church, to support our, our loved ones? Yes, it is. It sounds a little bit hateful as it's coming out of my mouth, but it's the truth. Because I go every day, every day to work, every day out to events, different places, and I see, I see where more people are supporting evil than godly day. And the shame is, we feel sometimes so, so burdened down by the, the evil of this world. But what I, what I have to look at is all the support behind it. They have thousands, sometimes millions of people supporting something. Most of them don't even know what they're supporting. You and I, if you've been saved again by the grace of God, you know the God you serve. You know that Jesus living in your heart. You know the way He can change a lot.
because he changed yours. Support that. Support that growth. Support those decisions. Support his salvation. If we stand for God, he'll certainly stand for us. And I'm thankful for that. I know this is this is the call of God. I feel like the Lord's shutting down and I'm not going to wait on it. Well, in which nobody's not. But I'll let you know that I love you. And church, you have been a support system for me. For my wife, for my two little beautiful girls that love going to church. Can't wait for Sunday school. We sit in bed sometimes. And I remember I had a headache and Andrew was sitting in the back and I was doing my best.